want to make this video for those of you that have a Thompson Center Arms FX muzzle loader. I had some experience happen to me this past weekend that I don't want to happen to anybody else. Please watch this video. If you know somebody that has a Thompson Center Arms FX muzzle loader, share this video with them. Maybe any Thompson, maybe even Encore Pro Hunter 50 cals. I'm not sure if that happens with them, but I know this happens with the FX. So uh, I pulled the gun out of the safe, getting ready to go hunting uh, last Wednesday. It's heading out to the camp for uh, basically a four day weekend. Uh, the last weekend of the muzzle loader season here in Louisiana, the primitive weapon season. I pull the gun out the safe. I go to cock the hammer and it won't cock. It does just like this, all right? So I was like, what's going on here? So I cock it, I break it open, try the breech plug, you know, it, it was snug. It was pretty, fairly snug. So cocked it back and it still wouldn't cock. So I went out and I got the wrench and I tightened it a little bit more, got it a little tighter. Book says, snug, is hand tight. So now I'm, I'm relatively hand tight, right? So it's cocking on me. Great. All right, so I fixed it. I know the problem. It just needed to be tightened. Put it in the case, go to the camp. Get to the camp, load it up, uh, go out to the stand. I hunted, uh, this was on a Saturday now, Saturday afternoon. I have, right at dark, right at sunset, I have two bucks pull in on me. Bruiser 10 point, really nice nine point, both five and a half year old deer. Uh, nine point had a beautiful palmated rack. I mean, both deer had some really nice characteristics about them. And I was gonna shoot 10 point. I go to cock the hammer and it did the same thing. It would not, would not cock it, it locked up on me. So I thought, okay, calm down. Nothing, nothing wrong here. The breech plug is loose again. I break it open. All right, break it open. And I tighten that breech plug with everything I've got. Softly close it back, trying not to make any noise. These deer are 25 yards away from me, feeding. I go to cock it, still won't cock. So now I'm starting to panic. I break it again. Primer falls out into my lap, luckily into my lap. Pick it up, stick it back in, close it again, try it again. Still won't cock for me. Long story short, I, I thought, you know, maybe there's an alignment issue. This is why this thing's not closed, not allowing me to pull the hammer back. So, you know, I'm kind of tapping and working it a little bit, thinking, you know, it's got to cock, it's got to cock. Both thumbs on it, trying to cock it. It's not cocking. I finally give up. I throw in the towel. It's getting dark now. Too dark to shoot anyway, even if I got the gun to go off. I mean, this went on. This was 30 minutes of frustration for me. I was even trying to figure out a way to, you know, maybe I can get the gun and strike the primer some kind of way. Just get it in line and strike the primer. But it just wasn't going to happen. It wasn't meant to be. So I get back to the camp. The deer, you know, I shoot the deer off after it's good and dark. Uh, get back to the camp. Unprimed now. I give the gun to one of my buddies and I say, I got a story to tell you. I say, but first I want you to cock this, co try to cock this hammer. And I give him the gun. Boom, he cocks it right back. And I, I can't believe what's going on here. So then I tell him the story. So I get home Sunday night. I uh, Google Thompson FX hammer not cocking and I found a forum on a muzzle loader uh, forum website discussing that very topic and seems that the general consensus was if you're shooting Winchester primers the Winchester primers are about three thousandths of an inch longer than the CCI or Federals. And that these primers are the issue. 
So I'm going to try a couple of them here at random just to see. And by the way, I am unloaded. You just trust me on this. Yeah, I am unloaded. Put a primer in. And boom. Very first one I grab. Does not cock. So let's try another one. Put this one off to the side. Grab another one. Another primer. Push it in. Close. Cocks. So what the general consensus was online was that let's try this one that I tried I'd had first just now. The general consensus was to take your primers and before you go out into the field, slam the barrel shut with the primer in. And that uh, basically press fits that primer in. Now it's cocking. Right? So that was the same one that just now would not go in. So you can see by my pack here. This is a basically a full pack. I've got two two primers in the in my uh, reload kits here, and I've got four other primers in uh, one of those little rubber coated handles that you can the starters handles for that have the recesses for the primers. So count the two plus four. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've shot this gun six, just made a mess. I've shot this gun six times without that ever happening. The seventh time that I needed to pull the trigger, it became a problem. So the solution, if you're gonna to continue to shoot the Winchester primers or in today's world, you can't find primers, or much less any other ammo. Uh, the solution is to press fit them before you get into the field try them make sure you're going to cock before you get to that moment where you need to cock the hammer and it doesn't if you're in a situation where it, it you do need to cock and it doesn't cock the only solution is either try swapping out that primer or slamming it shut to press fit it in so if you know somebody again if you know somebody with the fx share this video with them let them know if you have one don't let this happen to you i mean it was it's heartbreaking and frustrating extremely uh, thanks for watching and again share this with anybody you know thanks